Summer's around the corner. Would you like to learn about a new diet to get you ready? Stay tuned. Welcome everyone to Cynthia's Culinary Corner. I want to say hello to everyone out there, especially Happy Healthy Valley and to the community. Today we're going to be discussing a new diet that came out by the American Dietetic Association. It's called the Flexitarian Diet. It's very similar to the Mediterranean diet, but it's a little more flexible. Now the difference between the Mediterranean diet and the Flexitarian diet is the Mediterranean diet is about 75% fruits and vegetables. So it's a little more stringent or strict. And I like this flexitarian diet because you can incorporate foods that you like. So why don't we get started and I can share with you some of the foods that are recommended on this diet. And also, this is a great diet, a great meal plan to get us started for the summer. It's also very good for people who want to monitor their cholesterol, their blood sugars, and also, this diet is very high in antioxidants and fiber, which helps to reduce certain types of cancer. So why don't we get started? We're going to start with the lentils, the legumes. This meal plan, this diet, has a high amount of beans or legumes. Your pinto beans, your black beans, your white beans, your garbanzo beans, and your lentils. Why are these so good? Because they're high in fiber, they're fat-free, and they have no saturated fat. However, depending how you make them, that can, that can um, tailor the nutritional intake. But normally we wanna make them healthy with water, maybe add some garlic, some tomatoes, the seasonings that you like to give it lots of flavor. So that's what this incorporates. It's also very high, what I like, you can eat all the types of vegetables you like and all the fruit. Now I know if you're diabetic, we want to tailor it and individualize it. That's where your registered dietitian comes in because there are some fruits that have higher sugar content, which is a higher glycemic index. But this diet is mainly for the average person who wants to eat healthy and wants to promote weight loss and just uh, increase your fiber intake. So what this diet includes is all the vegetables. And as I've mentioned before in the past, we really want to do the green vegetables, vegetables that have a lot of color, which are high in antioxidants, such as your eggplants. And also you want to do your whole grains versus your refined grains. You want to do oatmeal. Now I do have a show that I discuss the benefits of oatmeal. So you can always go back to look at that. But oatmeal is high in fiber, it's fat free, doesn't have any saturated fat. And that's, it's very healthy to help control blood sugars and increase your satiety levels. And then of course, vegetables. You can do any kinds of vegetables, your green beans, your baby spinach, your artichokes, as I mentioned already, your sweet potatoes. Very important, brown rice. You wanna do your brown rice when you can. Now, if you have GI problems with the lentils or with the legumes or with the brown rice, then of course you tailor it and you can leave it out. This is just a general meal plan to help you lose weight and to help uh, lower your cholesterol and feel better. Something else you can ha that I like about this diet, you can have all the different types of milks. I also discussed in a past segment not too long ago the benefits of the different types of milk. You can always go back to that. But this is what I like. You can choose a milk that you like that's good for you. Something that's very important, we want to eat less of the animal protein. I'm not saying to completely leave it out eat less of it, like maybe twice a week. Your chicken, your pork, your red meat, your steaks, your ham, your bacon. Why? Because these types of animal proteins have a lot of saturated fat and they're actually inflammatory. So they can cause a lot of problems with the bones, with the digestion, with a lot of different um, pathways in the metabolism. Very important as well, the oil. This diet promotes olive oil, avocado oil, and fish oil. And we really want to avoid, if we can, lard or butter, even margarine, because margarine has been um, manipulated, so it's not the best for the body. So this is everything that includes a flexitarian diet. All the vegetables, so can you imagine eating all the vegetables and most of the fruit? 
Also, eggs. Eggs are very high in protein, so it's very good for you. It's very healthy and has a lot of minerals, and it's just good for you and it satisfies you, and you can prepare it several different ways. So now that we discussed this, I'm gonna show you what a meal plan would look like with the flexitarian diet. So here is what a plate would look like with the flexitarian diet. Very similar to what I've discussed in the past. However, this is gonna have more vegetables. So here I put two different types of vegetables, one type of carbohydrate, which is about a fourth of a cup. Remember, we still wanna do portion control, and then you have your protein, which is seafood or fish. Now, you don't necessarily have to have your protein be from fish or animal protein. You can have it from your legumes, like I mentioned. A good recommendation would be, let's say you would wanna do the legumes as a meal three days out of the week, maybe three or four days. And then maybe two days, you could, one or two days, you can do your animal protein, but once you do this, let's not forget, we still wanna incorporate our vegetables or our salads with this. And then the other days that are left, we can do the seafood of choice. Now let's not forget, the fish is very healthy, salmon is very healthy, now, some people might have a problem with shrimp because shrimp, it's kind of a twofold. Shrimp is actually fat free, but it has a lot of cholesterol. So as I've mentioned before, as a registered dietitian, it's all about individual health. So let's not forget that, we need to look at that. And let's not forget that we can go into the summer with something fresh and clean and satisfying. So as we always say, Let's go into the summer with something fun and we have to end with a voila.